Hello and a welcome to the first create episode. And in this series, I'm going to take you on a journey with me as I start a world I have always wanted. Okay, so with that being said, let's quickly go into a quick montage for me to get the basic stuff and then I will be right back. Packing my bags for uncharted lands. This journey starts with open hands, clockwork dreams. Gears all align With winds of change We're breaking the ties Infinite skies Ahead we rise Circuits ignite Our future defined Okay, so basically I've gathered all the basic stuff. So I have uh, stone tools and I have a little bit of food, which I'm actually cooking right now. And I think those cows back there will also be mine. Yeah, we first need to get a little bit of charcoal so we can actually cook the food. And I want to make some torches with that because then I want to go water caving because that's the beauty of Java. And then I want to see if we can collect up like the materials for a real starter house and also the beginning setups of the create. And with that, I of course mean a hydraulic press and a depot. I have reached a uh, deep slide level and I do want to go down there for diamonds but I'm terrified for droughts so I'm quickly gonna make some armor with the iron I found and then I'm gonna go down gather up some diamonds uh, gather up some other stuff and then we're going back to the surface Okay, it also seems there's a normal cave down there, but I'm way too afraid to go down there. So that's for a future episode. But uh, let's quickly gather up some gold. I see some redstone. Uh, more iron. So we have a lot to explore and to chop away here. So I might have a problem. I, uh, I have a skeleton that's following me underwater. And I don't have a shield. So I'm debating if I should like fight him because I, I could actually use the bones i mean he's not that strong on the water right I do have a little bit of armor okay let's just go for it let's go yay monster hunter woohoo Okay, so we made it out. Unfortunately, I didn't have any diamonds because, yeah, I um, my pickaxe almost broke. And although I did have some sticks and I did have a crafting bench, I was like, I just want to go to the surface and see if we can already at least start with the beginnings of Create. I think I need to have these and then I can make an endosite alloy. Endosite alloy. Let's just make a few more. Of course, it starts to rain. Uh, okay, let's not get distracted. I want to have some shafts. And with that, we can create a water wheel. There we go. A small one. And I believe if we actually do it like this, we can get a big one as well. Are we going for small? I think I just want to go for small because we're going to have a small build for now. We can always upgrade it later. Uh, what I also want with it is... Uh, let's 
make another large gear and two small ones. We need to make an andesite casing and for that we actually need to strip uh, some of the wood. So let's quickly do that. Okay, and after they're all stripped, uh, you can actually just leave them. And you can just click on them with the andesite alloy. And now we can mine them up. Yeah, we got so many new recipes. I'm excited! Good. Let's see if we can make a mechanical press. Uh, there is the mechanical press. And for that we also need to have a depot station. There we go. Okay, let's uh, quickly place these. Okay, so I made this little like stony shore thing and I already placed in one of the shafts here. But I believe if we do water over there and we place a wheel, it's gonna spin! Yay! And to make it a little bit more fancier, let's also place one there. Now we can't read out how much power this thing is giving, but th for that we need to make goggles and for that we need to make the hydraulic press where I talked about earlier, which we have here. I could probably just attach this to there, but I want to make it a little bit fancier. So let's see if we can make something nice out of this. Don't be too harsh on me in the comments. This is the first time I'm actually playing with Create. And I did do my research, but when you first do it, it's always more complicated than it probably should be. Uh, over there. And then you can go there. So I know it's a hydraulic press over there. If we place this here and we place the power station, then it should be working. So let's quickly grab some gold to see if it actually works. Well, I do think we actually need to smelt this. But, but we can try it out with iron ingots because we also need iron sheets. Uh, let just not do all of them because I still need to make a new big axe. <gasps> yes! We should probably make a uh, assembly belt for this. Goes a little bit faster. But the, the, while this is busy, quickly want to grab the gold. But also. Can we exchange those? Yes, we can. Now, while we're gonna wait for, for the gold to smelt, there is one thing I really need. And that is, I need string for the engineer's goggles. Yeah, I do want to wait until night. You know what? Let's uh, quickly chop some trees. And of course, we're gonna do that on the create way. So, for that we need three iron sheets, an ingot, and, and the side casing. And there we have a mechanical saw. What we also need is a mechanical hand crank. Yeah, here. I believe if we now place it like this. And we put this here. And we can keep it turning. This actually gives us a lot of wood. And my gold is smelted as well. Let's see how it's doing here. Oh, let's put these away for now, in case I do die. I don't want to lose everything. I'm gonna chop some more trees while we wait. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, there is one more thing I want to do. And it's I quickly want to make a shield. Because there's probably gonna be a lot more than just spiders. Let's go. There is an open field here, so there should be mobs here soon. Oh yeah, there, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that was definitely what I was hoping for. Okay, let's explore. I see another creeper there. I see more sheep. I see skeletons. I, it's always the mobs that you need that you could never find, so... Ah!
Okay, well, they are fighting each other. I'm quickly gonna run away. Ooh, I see spider, I see spider. Oh, I see another one. Yes, come. Come with me. Hello. Yeah, you were not the ones I signed up for. Oof. Okay, let's quickly run to our bed and sleep again. I guess we can before we lose this guy. Oof. Take those. Sleep. Sleep. Sleep, 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 please, 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 please. Oh, just see if we can make those goggles. And for that, we also need to have two glass. So let's quickly smelt up some sand. And while that's smelting, let's also make another small one of these. This. And then we can make a wrench. So, and with the wrench, we can actually turn like all the stuff we have. And we have our glass. And then we should be able to make the engineer's goggles. Yes. Okay, let's put these on. We can also take off all our armor. We're not in the bush bush. So basically, we should be safe. I believe with the... Oh, the goggles are a little bit inflicting with my own. But the, if we look at this now, we should be able to... To see stuff, yeah. But this is how much we're actually generating at this point. And how much she's using. I see another spider. Give me your string. Thank you. So there are two major things I want to do now. First, I want to make sure that I can have enough food. So I'm quickly going to make a manual uh, wheat farm. But I do want to make that an automatic one. Because that's my goal for this episode. I want to have a house and I want to have food. But in order to make a mechanical one, that also means we need to have other stuffs as well. So we need a mechanical mill, for example. So I think it's time I'm going to do a little bit more mining. And I'm going to make another section, as you see right behind me, just because I can. And then we're gonna see if I can, we can actually build something beautiful there. So I've gathered up some uh, kelp and I've put it in here so we can make belts. And while I was waiting for that to smelt, I made this little stony thing. So we could actually place the, the wheel here. So that means if I place this here and I would place the water wheel like right there, it's not in the right direction. There we go. So here. Yes. I want to have you up there. Then I want to have a big one. I want to have a small one and then a big one. So we can then place a small one underneath. Yes. And because this one turns faster if i place this this one will actually go faster than that yes okay so this way we do make it a little bit faster than the press but i think that should be good the saw we should probably place here no we should move it one forward else we don't have enough space so i want to have you there ow Oh, well, apparently that hurts. Ow. I want to have you there, you there, you there. I want to have another shaft. And then I want to have uh, these. This is where we needed to try to kelp for the mechanical belts. We actually need more than this. Oh, we have more. Okay, so let's also place one here. And then if we click on this and this, it should connect. Yes. What I want to have now is two chests. And then want to have two of these and the side funnels. I place. So I placed this one on the right side. Let's just finish this one so I can show you what I've done. 
I don't know why I made more than this, but okay. I believe if we now throw one of these, it should be making that. Yes, okay. Now I don't need a stone cutter anymore. I do, however, need to place this one higher. So let's quickly fix that. If we now place a few in here. Okay, so if we now place a wall in there and we do a block in there, then it should make a wall again. And this is how it all starts. Yes. So what I want to do is I first want to lay down the foundation for our house, which means mostly cobblestone. We do have some cobblestone, but we do not have enough. So I think I want to make a cobblestone generator here as well. And for that, we need to search for some lava. Okay, so the idea for me is while I'm going to search for lava, I'm also going to take my gear with me and I'm going to see if I can find some uh, dripstone and other resources that we can still need. Ooh, what's this? Inside. I think I'm going to take a little bit of that with me. Emeralds, saddle. Ooh, but I did spot something else. Lava. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my god. The <sighs> Let's not do that again. Okay. I guess we might not even need to make a manual farm with all of these hay bales. And look, they gave me carrots and potatoes as well. Whoa, I'm finally at the top of the village and like on a cliff. You can see so much. Like we saw pumpkins there that I want to get. Uh, I believe over there, somewhere in the distance is where our base is. Over there we have like a snowy spruce biome. Might be where to get us some spruce saplings. Yeah, this is, this is really cool. By the way, I also have a map. That's this one. And here you can actually see that this is where we are now. And this is where we are currently basing. So it's actually not that far. Also, I could have used this to fight lava there. Instead of walking around in a circle. Oh, I guess that's for next time. Okay, let's see if we can get some of the spruce. And then uh, we can head home. Yes, I found the spruce trees. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I actually broke my axe. Let's quickly smelt some of these. And while that's smelting, I see more iron over there. Could have taken the mechanical saw with me. Well, uh, that's for next time. Oh, hello. I'm going to avoid you guys and pretend you're not here. So on my way back, I stumbled upon this cool dripstone cave. And yeah, I can't leave that block. So I'm going to take some of that. But I'm almost through my iron pickaxe. So... There's also some iron there and yeah, right there. So I'm quickly gonna see if I can get all that stuff. So now we're back at our base. Uh, it's time we change up our gear. There we go. And I want to place some more water wheels and some cobblestone. Okay, so this is what I've made. Uh, these are the water wheels. I want to make, connect this up to our stone generator and I want to connect this up to what's going upstairs and that was the stone mill. The, the stone mill. The, the mill. Um, but we also have this guy and he is selling stuff that I don't have near. So let's see if we can buy something from him. I did take some emeralds from the village. It's only seven. I'm gonna go for the mangrove. You know what? Let's do a mushroom as well. We can also grow that. Thank you for your service. Okay. I wanna plant you. We'll put you here in the water. There we go. Let's see if we can extend this. I believe I'm correct. We can place these and they won't cost a thing. Oh, that's only when you place them on the stuffs itself. Okay. So we need to make a few more. 
so we can actually build the lava and the water in. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to place a big wheel here. A small wheel like there. I want to place you right there. And then I want to place you... I want to place you right there. You right there. And because I want to... I want you to actually go that way. We need to place one more. Yes. So if we then do it like this. And we place the mechanical belt. This is the world's shortest mechanical belt. <laughs> okay. And what I want to do now. Okay. Let me just visualize it. So this is where we want to have the cobblestone generators. So that means we need to have lava over there. That actually seems to be possible. Um, can we in case you just be sure? Oh, but then, yeah, we can do it like this. Then we can encase this. Then we can put this around it. And if we then take the lava bucket... Ooh! I hope I have fire tick off. Okay, fire tick is now set to fall, so it's not gonna light every anything up. So that's good. And just to be safe for my own, I'm gonna place that there. Um, and on this side, we need to have water and we need to have running water as well. So, we, can we make a few more of these? These are pretty to build with. I know they're really expensive, but they're really pretty. Okay. Um, place you here. Is it still going to float up there? I I'm just going to make an extra thing where it can flow down in. And we need to make our drill. Oh, that's a thing. I need to power it from below. Um, okay, give me a sec. Okay, guys. So I was out of cobble, but since we're going to get cobble from this, I'm pretty sure that if this works, we can replace these with cobble as well. Um, so let's place it and hope I don't lose my uh, lava. There we go. Yes! Okay, so it's not fast, but this is all for the beginning. So this is fine. I'm really happy with this. Yay. So while the generator is gonna generate me some cobble so we can actually make the foundation for our soda house, I'm actually gonna remove some sand and then I'm gonna place the cobblestone and then I will be right back with you. Okay guys, this is what I've made. I made the floor out of spruce. I do want to have a different type of like flooring uh, on the foundation itself. So, and I actually want to make it out of dripstone. Now, dripstone is one of the things we gathered up earlier. So, I think we actually need to make a farm out of this as well. Okay, so I cleared out a section. Now, I believe we can just put some drills, like, along uh, these tiles. And then when they grow, they should actually just fill them off. But this is going to be a very slow process, so I'm thinking about maybe making it a little bit bigger. But for now, I just want to let them grow and then we can replace these things later. I believe from now on they should grow, but I don't know for sure if I need to have like a full water source above it. So let's quickly do that just to be sure. Okay, let me see if I can make a few drills. We have one mechanical drill. Those things are expensive. Oh, apparently I need more in the side. So I made a little strip mine here. So I can just grab the end side and like the quick things I need. 
can just grab these and then I can just go back to the surface. Uh, let's see, more andesite alloys. I want to have two more at least of these. Now we have five drills, so we can place them there. There, there, there. One, two, three, four, five. Place a mechanical belt on it. The water wheel there. Place water there. So this should provide us with the drips that we need. Of course, we also need to collect it. Shut this out. Okay, so if I then extend this... And we're gonna place like all of these. Oh. And if we then take a mechanical belt... Okay, let's put you up there and then let's there. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, that's that's a thing, yeah. Um Okay, this should fix my problem. I hope. <laughs> oh can't believe I didn't see that. So this trip zone might take a while because it's not big and it really takes a long time. So I think I'm gonna make the rest of the floor also out of spruce wood, but just use the drip zone for one of the uh, as a feature for the walls. Um, let's place some wood. Unbelievable! I just added like a whole roof or cover to the basement, but it's still raining. Why Minecraft? Okay, let's also quickly place some torches here because this looks dark and the last thing I want are mobs to spawn here. Okay, so this is all slowly but surely coming to... So basically, why I needed this so much is because I want to have flooring here so we could make a new contraption over here that fits into our house. And uh, I need to connect it up there, but I want to have the setup light here. And that's for the sawmill? Millstone? Millstone. That's for the millstone. Because we're going to need the millstone if we want to have like contraptions. And one of those contraptions is the automatic food farm that we really need. Because yeah, food is one of the most important things in the game. So what I'm going to need is a millstone, for which I need to have a small gear and and the side, which I also don't have. But I believe we can also use diorite for that. Uh, there is the millstone. And what I also want for this, because I want to hook another contraption next to it. So I want to make one of the vertical boxes. And how I do that is by making a normal gearbox and then I can convert it in the crafting bench. So for that I need four of these. Oh, and then I need another andesite alloy. Which I don't have because I'm out of andesite again. So definitely something to look into in the future when we're gonna make bigger farms is like seeing if we can make an andesite farm. And an iron farm. Because iron and andesite are things that go through really fast. Okay, since we want another casing, I actually have a special tree here that I keep chopping. And only using the andesite alloy on. And then we can make the gearbox. Yes, and then we can make it into a vertical one. So what we can do then is we can actually place the millstone like right here and then we can push this on top of this yes okay so what i want to add is i want to make uh, two of the normal like these so we can actually have like a really tight corner and over here i want to have like a fan 
But uh, for a fan, we also need to have like a propeller. And for a propeller, we need four of these. So I actually quickly went caving. I found these as well, which I think are can give some really pretty blocks. So I want to use those for like the sides of the walls. But uh, yeah, I need four, I said. Four. Four. And then we're going here. Back to press. Okay, then we have four. I believe we should be able to make a propeller. Yes, we can. Woohoo! And now with the propeller, uh, some new ch shafts, and I believe the endocytes, we should be able to make the encased fan. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can put this all together. And you up there. And then I want to have you up there. There we go. It's a windmaker. Ooh. Okay, if we now just place a depot station here and like close this off. Let me quickly grab an iron rod. Oh, sorry. An iron bar. And let's put you... There. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah. I'm gonna put you there. Just to make it a little bit fancier. Ta da! And we're gonna put some water on there. Hope I'm doing this right. If we chuck some of this in here. Wait. Oh. Okay, I think I know a better way to solve this. I don't even need to make it. If we place this on here and we then do this, then it should be working. Yeah, okay. So if we then chuck this in. Oh, embrace the grind. Now we have wheat flour, and I believe if we chuck that up there, it turns into dough. Now the last and final step we need with this dough is, uh, is we need to combine this with lime green dye so we can make things stick together. And for that we either need a pickle or a cacti and well, I think we're gonna search for a pickle, like, out there. So let's quickly grab our boat and let's see if we can find something. And hello and welcome back. And so, basically, I went on exploring, like I told you earlier, and I'm gonna show you the map with where I've been, if it will load. So I've been basically going f all this way, <laughs> no pickles. And then I actually googled and ferns can probably also give green dye with the create mod. So I was, I want to try this. So I'm going to throw them now into the mill and then we can see if it works. And else we get a lot of seeds. I'm quickly going to take my goggles. I actually uh, took them off my head when I went adventuring because the last thing I want is like losing and needing to go for new gold. So... <gasps> Oh, but it's so cool. And now I've got a uh, green dye. So I needed to click on it after it was done. So it hasn't done all of it. Oh, oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Good. Because then we still need bones for white dye. I want to make like the sticky thing. I don't know how you call it. But that's what you do to make your contributions stick to each other. And yeah, for that we need white dye. Because this needs to be lime green. Lily of the Valley. Wait, don't we have those? I'm pretty sure I had those at one point, but I might actually have dumped them because my inventory was full and I was like, oh, it's just a flower. I mean, look at this. I'm not even that far away from home and I already found a lily. So this should give us white dye. Okay, so now we're back home. Let's make all of these into white dye and then into lime uh, green dye. So now we take our dough. If I can find find where I left it. 
Big Aradel, yes. And if we do that together with the lime die, we get a slime ball. And I believe the slime ball with an iron sheet. Do we have enough iron? Oh, please don't tell me you're out. Oh, we still have some iron. Okay, let's quickly put it on top of here. Okay, iron sheet. What we also need is an iron nugget. And then we get the super glue. And that's what we're gonna need for the farm we're gonna make. It will give me an endless supply of wheat, which I want to have for the mud blocks that we're gonna place here. Of course, I still have all of these. So what I might actually do is I might already start building while the wheat farm just starts working. But first, of course, we need to build it. Okay, let me quickly start by marking out where I want to have uh, our automatic farm. So I would like to have that in this area, which will probably be at this height. And it also will probably be round. So if this is going to be the height of the dirt, that means that I need to have my water wheel with electricity like underneath here. I'm just going for water wheels right now. I know you can also do it with wind power, I believe. But I just want to keep it like the most basic and simple for this episode. I'm going to place it there. Then we need to add a clutch. And that we can do with this and andesite casing. Yep. Let's put that on top of there. I believe then we need to make a mechanical bearing, which we need to do with a slab. Yes, that's this one. And let's place that on top of there. I really need to make sure that I don't crouch while pla uh, placing these. That's something I've really noticed in the time between vanilla and here. That crouching here definitely means that you place blocks differently. Which is good to know, it can be handy, but that was really where I was going for with well, this. Okay, so from what I understand, it's like one, two, three, one, two, three. And then this is where we need to put up our... I wanted to say mechanical harvesters, but... Are they called mechanical harvesters? Yeah, they were called mechanical harvesters. I need four andesite alloys, two iron sheets, and an I and the side casing. Uh, yep, yeah, that's that's expensive. I was looking at that while debating on how I could get like all the stuff I need. One, two, three. Oh, we can actually do four. Might be a little bit too heavy, but we just yeah need to see if if it's possible to run it. Okay, can we do it now? Okay, so this is definitely going. That's good. That's what I wanted. Okay. Let's uh, also place up uh, the collection system. Which, believe it or not, is just going to be a double chest. That is, if I have enough wood for it. And I believe we can just put that on top of here. And then it should just put all of it in there. Now comes the question. Do I want to automate it so I can just take the food from the side? Or do I want to make it that it's... That I just need to stop the machine and then take it. Do you know what? I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna leave it at this. So now I need to have the super glue. Because from what I believe it's you click here. And then do like here. Oh. And then you do this till there. And then... This till there. So this is now all glued together. And if I then should like, if we give this power. Yes. Oh, I don't. Oh, did you guys see that? I also glued the dirt block. Uh, let's quickly make a hole. Okay. Oh yeah, the, the water is too far away. Let's just put you there. And then this should like turn brown. Yes. Let's plant some of these. And then we're just gonna see how it's gonna go. 
Okay, so while I'm gonna expand this, I am gonna let it run just to see if it's gonna do something. So, and we're back. Now, as you can see, I didn't only expand it. I also made like a little border around it. And on top, I actually want to have a border of stone bricks. But yeah, that I, uh, I still need to smelt. And while we're waiting for that to do our first harvest, I do want to make like a little bit of a shadow. Shadow. A gradient here with like different kind of blocks. So I was actually thinking about starting out with the green version of the Scorsia. I believe we need to do that with the ink sacks already gathered. Uh, let's try this out first. Yeah, so this is how we get the green variant. Now I have no clue how I can make it so it makes like a certain block type out of it. Can I just like do this and then see if it works? Ooh. Okay, but that made walls, but I... They look pretty? Well, it's not really what I was out going for. Okay, let's for now just put it there. We move you in, we can make this. And I hope if I now put these on there. <gasps> yes, okay, that means I can just put them in here and it will do it for me. Okay, let's quickly look if we have something in our harvester. It's working. Yay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, let's go. So one of the things I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to make a few new chests so I can actually move my stuff up here as well. So we can close off the wall here and we need to make like a staircase going up here. Let's put all of these in. Let's fill this up. Let's grab our green blocks and let's quickly paste them around. Okay, so now I've placed some of these for like a gradient going up. I think it's time we're gonna add the normal Scorsia bricks as well. Okay, that means we're going here again. I make the brick variant. I put you in there. And then we can just place these in there. And while it's doing that, I'm quickly chop, gonna chop a little bit more wood. So I just took the Scorsia bricks from here. I'm now doing the stone and I'm going to wait until it stops raining and then I'm going to place all of these for the next layer of gradients. So we now got these all in. I do want to fill this up like to another like brown color. So I think my mud bricks and of course the bricks you can make with the dripstone blocks now i don't think i have a lot here i have four so it's a really slow process but we will get there i would love to have a little bit of a different wood type going down here but i don't have that yet and i don't want to do that right now so my other instinct was to just make it out of cobblestone for now. Or we could make it out of these. I'm actually wondering if the staircase that I want to have here that's going up to the dock. If I'm going to do that in a different color. That's actually a really good question. Uh, I have some more stone in here for now because I don't have like a smelter. I do want to have like a little bit more bricks. Yeah, with eight, I'm not really going to get far. But of course, if we also want to have the mud bricks, for that we also need to have something that can convert like all the dirt that I'm making. Hmm, I only need a stack of mud bricks. So what I think I'm going to do, I might actually just do it manual for now. Because else I need to go mining again. And I would love to do that with some better tools. Because else I keep going back into the mines or back exploring. 
And I'm actually a little bit done with that. And with the tree glass, we make a bottle. And uh, let's go to the other side where we also have dirt on the water. Or we can just do it here. And then we can just go. Yeah, I think for like a beginner house with this, when we only need like a stack of the stuff, this is probably the fastest way to go. Um, let's see, we still had some hay bales. Yet we should be able to make bad mark. Fact mod. Okay, let's see how far we can place these and how far we can get. Okay, so this is starting really to look like something. Maybe something, adding something really li with a little bit of like a reddish color. Okay, now this is starting to look like it, right? I believe there might be only one more block that I'm a little bit missing. But I really like this. As it goes up, it goes really a lot lighter. I still need to chop a lot more wood as well. So I think I'm just gonna set up the frame while everything like gets sorted out with the cutter and then I will be right back with you guys again. All wood is now in place. I will go in free cam so I can show you the rest of the build. Ignore the sand. I used it to, to pillar up. But this is basically where the wood structure will go. So you can see we still need to add a lot of blocks. So I guess we're just going to snip with our fingers and then we're just going to add all of those. <laughs> I know I said like I'm going to get back to you once I've built all the stone, but the dripstone farm just isn't fast enough. So that actually means I need to go into the caves again. But before I'm going to do that, I actually wanted to show you guys like how much of our farm we actually got. Because of course I've been building this for quite a while now and this is also not finished. But I believe we do this. Yes. And we should be able to access this. Okay. So that means we got a decent amount of food. That's good. That's good. That means we can also place all of these again. And I'm actually more interested in the weed because of course of the... That we can make mud blocks uh, with them. Now, I want to begin by placing a door here. Voila. And I want to have another door here. Okay, let's grab some of the drips, cut dripstone and let's see how far we got. Oh, the thing. Oh, no. I didn't put the recipe in. Well, I guess because they're already half, they will never be whole. Well, I guess we'll just have to work with it. Okay, let me quickly place the stone and then I will be right back. Okay guys, we're back. I placed in the last uh, tripstone bricks, but uh, yeah, of course it's all a little bit floaty because I also want to have a roof here with different blocks. Uh, I did place in the door so we can now like casually go in and out. We can still go from here to the dock. I filled in the gaps. I will free this turtle after I've done touring. Uh, but we need to have windows, we need to have a second floor in here, and uh, yeah, we need to have the roof. And the roof, I actually want to see if I can make that out of copper and out of this crimside. So I really hope we have enough for that. Okay, let, I'm quickly gonna smelt this. So what I want to do, I want to make like the oxidized variant, like on top of here. And then I want to have these as blocks, like, uh, as a trim around. So I'm probably not going to have enough copper, but as long as, like, the sides are filled up, that's fine for now. Ah! No! I don't have any weapons! Go away! Ah, oh, okay. That, yes, that was my first dad. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. But on the other hand, I do also have good news. Let me quickly regenerate a little bit. So as you can see, I replaced this, uh, the water with lava. Because I discovered we can actually do this. Yeah, it did a little bit more mining. I found some diamonds, just took three, there were more, but yeah, I really needed some more copper, because as you can see, I'm 
almost there, but I'm still missing a few blocks here and there. Yeah, I just really want to finish this. The only thing I'm really wondering, because of course I've been smelting with this before, is if we can actually also like cook potatoes on there. That's something I really want to know. Let's see here. This goes so much faster. I'm really impressed. I want to see if this works. Because then I'm gonna remove the the furnace from the house. Oh no! I think it burned. Ah. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. Uh, let's quickly put you on there, and then I'm gonna finish the roof. Okay. So I'm done placing all the copper. Let me go in free cam so I can actually show it to you guys. So. We now have a roof, we have the tiles. We still need to put in the windows. Uh, we need to make the, the roof terrace here. And we need to add a little bit of green. So since this is mostly gonna be wood, I'm just gonna snap with my fingers again. And then we will be right back. Okay guys, I've done it. Well, I was collecting wood for the windows and all the other little details. I also gathered up some leaves. So, this is it. So I'm still missing lights, but that's for next episode. But we have like so much details. I might switch this one out for spruce or just leave it like that. It gives off so much more light and vibes and I should probably add some water in there. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I love this. This looks so pretty. I really love that it's really get giving me the vibes of life. I would like to add maybe some trap doors around here because apparently i also forgot those but yeah this this was an adventure i really loved making this but as you can see this episode is turning out to be a really long one and that's because this was the basic grind so that means after this my episode might be a little bit less long but we will be focusing more on uh progress instead of just the build so for example, I would like to build next episode something that can get us iron without us having to go and cave. So I think next episode we're gonna make a mine. And then I don't mean a manual one. We're gonna upgrade and we're just gonna see what create will take us. As we strive to make the most epic steampunk city you guys have ever seen. But with that being said, if you really liked this, please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.